Now let us see what is a string. String is a sequence of characters and or symbols enclosed in double quotes. Java uses objects of string class to implement strings. String and string buffer classes are defined in java.lang package that is available to all programs automatically. String class provides a number of constructors to declare string objects. Here are some commonly used string constructors. By using string default constructor, the constructor that takes an array of characters as parameter to create a string, its return type is a string. The constructor that takes string object as a parameter and its return type is string. Next constructor takes a byte array of ASCII characters as a parameter and returns string object containing these characters. Another string constructor that uses an array of ASCII characters and creates a string from index position given in startup to the position given in total characters. Now we will learn string comparison methods. String class provides several methods that can be used to compare strings or substrings. These methods are equals, equals ignore case, region matches, starts with, ends with, compare to, and relational is equal to operator. Equals method is used to compare two strings for equality. The case of strings is important because equals method is case sensitive. The second method that compares string is equals ignore case. The equals method compares string based on the value contained in the strings. While equal, equal operator is used to check whether two string objects refer to same string object in memory. In addition to comparing string for equality, sometimes it is necessary to see whether a string is less than or greater than another string. String class defines compare to method for this purpose. This method compares two strings and returns an integer value. This table shows the interpretation of value returned by compare to method. Here, when S1 is compared with S2, an integer value is returned. If the value is less than 0, that is negative, then the string S1 is less than S2. If the value is 0, then S1 and S2 are equal. If the value of return integer is greater than 0, then S1 is greater than S2. This program sorts an array of string in alphabetical order and illustrates the use of compare to method. This program compares ASCII values of strings. You can use mixed case strings and use compare to ignore case method to compare strings. Now we will discuss operations that can be performed on strings. String class allows a number of string operations on string objects. Some of these operations are string length and special string operations like comparing strings, searching strings, concatenating strings with other strings or other data types and string modification. String class defines length method that can be applied on string objects to calculate the length of string. Sometimes you need to extract only a part of large string literal. Java provides different methods to complete this. The methods defined for this purpose are char at, get chars, get bytes, and to char array. Now we will see some methods that allow you to search strings. Java provides methods to search a character or substring within a string. The methods provided by string class for this purpose are index of and last index of. Now we will learn another string in method that is the replace method. It can be used to replace all occurrences of a character in a string by a given character. General form of replace method is 
string as return type followed by original character that is to be replaced by the character given in replace parameter. Here original means the character inside the string that is to be replaced by the character passed in replace parameter. This example shows the use of replace method. Second statement replaces all occurrence of small o with capital O. Last string modification method in our discussion is trim method. Trim method is used to remove leading and trailing blank places from the invoking string. General form of trim method is string object followed by trim method. Here is a simple example of trim method. This will remove leading and trailing blank spaces from string s, but spaces between hello and there will not be removed. Sometimes you need to change the case of a string literal. Java provides two methods to change the case of all characters to uppercase or lowercase. These methods do not affect digits and non-alphabetical characters. The general form of lowercase method is string return type followed by method name and a set of braces. These methods return a string object that contains upper or lowercase equivalent of invoking string. This program demonstrates the use of both lowercase and uppercase methods. The output contains original string, lowercase string and uppercase string. Now we will see some methods that allow you to search strings. Java provides methods to search a character or substring within a string. The methods provided by string class for this purpose are index of and last index of. Index of method searches for first occurrence of a character or string. Last index of method searches for last occurrence of a character or a substring. The first statement creates a string S and second statement uses index of method to search Q in this string and prints the index position of Q in the string, a quick brown fox. Third statement starts search in the reverse order in the string stored in S and displays the result 8, that is, the position of B in this string. Now we will discuss how Java allows you to modify strings. Java strings cannot be modified once they are created. Java provides some methods that can be used to create a new copy for modified strings. These methods are substring, concat, replace, and trim. This program demonstrates the use of substring. First print statement prints string hello that is from index position 0 to index position 5. Second print statement starts the string from index position 7 and up to end of string. Concat function can be used to join two strings. These two statements demonstrate the use of concat method. String S2 will contain 1 and 2. Plus operator can be used to achieve same result. Now we will learn another string modification method that is the replace method. This example shows the use of replace method. Second statement replaces all occurrence of small o with capital O. Sometimes you need to change the case of a string literal. Java provides two methods to change the case of all characters to uppercase or lowercase. These methods do not affect digits and non-alphabetical characters. This program demonstrates the use of both lowercase and uppercase methods. The output contains original string, lowercase string and uppercase string. Java allows to concatenate or join two or more strings to produce a string object. 
it allows only plus operator to join strings. For example, here name contains the string Ahmed and S contains his name is. The last statement prints the value stored in S. Now we will learn how to concatenate other objects with strings. When a string is concatenated with some simple data types, for example int and float, Java uses value of method defined in string class that returns a string for all simple types. When an object is concatenated with another object, value of method calls toString method on the object. The default implementation of toString method is not sufficient for objects of every class and you may need to define toString in user-defined class to convert object into string. That is, you have to override the definition of toString method. This example shows implementation of toString method in a user-defined class. The overridden method is given in date class at line number 10. Note that toString implementation in date class returns a string that is concatenated with other string in main method. String and string buffer classes are defined in java.lang package that is available to all programs automatically. String and string buffer classes are declared final and these cannot be used in inheritance.